So guys, what would you print if you have a printer that has a print size of 420 by 420 by 480 millimeter? You'd print some really, really big things. Check this out. <laughs> yeah, we went all in. This is a 400% large ghost. And this guy was printed in base mode, and we are printing this on the Elgu Neptune Max. Uh, this is a printer that can print super fast. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now, the Neptune 4 Max is an amazing large-scale printer that has a build plate unlike any other printer that we've had on the channel. 420 by 420 by 480. That is large. That's ghostly large, and you saw how big that ghost was. Now, what sets this printer apart is that it can print super fast too. So not only does it have a ginormous bed, but we're talking about 500 millimeters per second print capabilities with 8,000 millimeters per second acceleration. Mind boggling and still giving you fantastic quality prints. Uh, the bed is big. We're talking 11 by 11 and it has 121 point auto leveling, 121. It takes a while, I'll tell you. So when we were leveling this bad boy, we walked away because it was it was going to be I was going to be there just didn't want to be there. Now the temperature perspective you can get a nozzle temperature up to 300 C. It does have a titanium alloy throat and it has a dual gear direct extruder. Uh, it has a light bar that is like so bright and it's, it's just super bright. And then it also has a nozzle light which gives you the ability to see really close up. I don't know how many times I've taken out my phone and turned on the flashlight to see how that first layer is working. You don't have to do it with this printer because it literally has like a pinpoint light. It's going to show you what that first layer looks like. Now, this printer also has X and Y calibration sensors. Um, it's going to be able to support PLA, PETG, ABS, TPU, nylon filaments, and a whole host of, of, I would say, other types. It's going to be able to print PLA, PETG, ABS, TPU, and nylon filaments. Uh, one of the things I will tell you is that as you start getting into those filaments, you'll probably want to get an enclosure for this if you can find something that's that big. Because once again, while the temperature of the bed can go high as well as the nozzle, you need to maintain good temperature if you want to get these prints out without any kind of warping. Now, you do have several things that you can do. Now, you can send prints to this printer via Wi-Fi. You can send it via USB. And it also supports Orca Slicer. Matter of fact, we were able to connect Orca effortlessly by just putting in our IP address once we connect it to the network. And it was done. It's it's like one of the most easiest printers that I've had to date that claims that can connect to Orca, but makes it effortless. Like, like no issues, no reading, going through Reddit, no calling people up, trying to figure out how do you do this. It just worked. So really love the fact that they're forward thinking. It does come with the Cura, um, an Elgu version of the Cura slicer, but then we went straight to the actual Orca slicer and it worked incredibly well. Now let's take a closer look at this printer and we'll see all the features close up. You'll see the print quality. And I have to say that this printer, while it has a super fast mode that is like a jet taking off, it also has a quiet mode that makes this uber quiet and you can use this in any location and no one will tell it's printing, even at what I would say a semi-fast speed. Super, super quiet. Let's go check it out. So guys, what do you print when you have a print surface or print volume of 420 by 420 by 480 millimeters? Well, the largest possible ghost you can. <laughs> so guys, this is the Neptune 4 Max from Elego. And I have to say, of all of our bed slingers, this has to be my favorite. It's quiet, it is fast, and the quality is really, really good. So let's first talk about some of the specs that we covered up earlier. And the most outstanding part of this printer is the fact that it has a massive build volume. And you can see how big that bed is. I just can't think about the things that I can actually uh, print on this because it's so large. We've been printing parts for our Etsy store on the printer and what would typically be maybe four parts on a bamboo. Here is 12 to 16. It's just massive inside. And what sets this printer apart, like we talked about in the intro, is the speed. We're talking about 500 millimeters per second. So absolutely love that. And it has, check this out, 121 points auto leveling. Crazy. Uh, it's so crazy that I had to walk away because I was there was no way I was going to sit here and just wait for the auto leveling to finish. So we went through that. Uh, the nozzle 300C. And again, it's compatible with a wide range of filaments. 
but it's going to be harder if you start getting with some of the, um, I would say, more exotic ones. And maybe not so much exotic, but the ones that require maybe a better temperature control. So uh, PLA, PETG, ABS, TPU, nylon filaments, it should be able to do those. But I think that you really have to have it in a well uh, temperature controlled environment. Obviously, in my setting here, this is not going to work. Everything is too open. And I expect to have some curling. Didn't even bother because I know I was going to be disappointed. And I just want to show you how great what everybody typically prints the PLA is, right? So this is available for pre-order. And a couple of things I just wanted to highlight on this that, that I just want to make sure that we cover is that the acceleration can go all the way up to 8,000 MMS. So that's uh, pretty spectacular. Uh, the other thing is that this printer literally, all we had to do was put the bolts on the side, put this thing together. It was super fast. It does have a almost like a plane like cooling system at the very top. We'll see that in a couple seconds. Uh, and that when it says take off, I really mean it does take off. Uh, it does have a dual gear direct extruder and it has clipper built in. Now, one of the things I'm trying to figure out is if I could use Orca Slicer with this. Um, I've sent a message to the team at Elgu to help you know, help me with this to see, because um, I'd love to be able to connect my Orca Slicer to it and just do everything Wi-Fi. Right now, everything is through the little stick that's on the very bottom, but we'll take a closer look at that. So quiet, fast, has one of the best lighting experiences that I've seen. Um, you're going to see that the light are up here on the very top. Let me point right there. Really does a nice job illuminating the ghost that you see there. And then it also has a light on the print head. So who would have thought? So one on the print area and then a second. So you can see what that layer looks like. So all in all, you can tell that I'm super excited about this printer. But it's just because of the build volume. The fact that it's so quiet. And it's just a great printer. So let's take a closer look. Now before going through the actual printer, I'm going to do something in a different order. Because... Really, it's about the print quality, and then you'll see all the features. So first of all, you have to do a Benchy, right? That's kind of like the standard. So we had to print out a Benchy, and the Benchy came out great. You know, what will you expect? This is a pre-sliced Benchy. And you can expect that they're, again, their pre-sliced models are going to look good. And this definitely looked good. No stringing whatsoever. Everything looked great. We also have this tool, this tool adapter. We'll bring this into focus right there. This tool adapter uh, that they had. Uh, printed fantastic as well. Great quality. You can see how that looks like right there. No issues whatsoever. It was clean. Uh, we also then printed uh, a little figurine. I think this was um, their little Buddha. And this you see a lot with the with the prints. Um, again, great quality. Uh, we saw, let me make sure that's in focus for you guys. So you, can, you guys can see that. Great quality. Great first layer. That is a fantastic first layer. And then just overall... The actual uh, quality of the of the print came out really nice. The other thing that we printed was a it was a uh, a vase of sort. Let me go ahead and bring this on right here so you can see it. There you go. So you can see what that looks like. So that printed out really nice. Interior, a great first layer too. Really, really nice quality. Check it, check that out. And you know, even at high speeds. So keep in mind that this was printed at high speed again, that 300 uh, millimeters per second to 500. And I'm using silk PLA. And silk PLA doesn't do well in high temperatures and with speed. You have to slow things down. And look how nice this looks. This looks really, really good. Matter of fact, everything was silk PLA. This uh, ghost is around 400 times larger than it should be, or larger than the original model. And I printed him in base mode. Didn't want to use up a lot of uh, filament for that. And let me go ahead and pull him off so you can see what he looks like. Now, to pull him off the bed was pretty simple. There's not a lot to him here. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and bring him. It's kind of like going, ooh, scary. Uh, all right. So definitely some stringing on the bottom. You know, can't help that. The very top, I got some stringing at the top. We'll go ahead and bring that in so you can see that right there. So I had some defects at the very top. Um, I had this printing overnight, so I really didn't see what happened to it or where the defect came through. But, you know, from from this all the way to the top, looked great. It may be because of the temperature uh, here. I don't have a heated area. We're actually going to be putting in a heated area here, and we're starting to get cold here in the Midwest. And that may have caused, because it started, this was fine. 
And then as it got up here, that's when the stringing started happening. And I would expect that that was probably taking place around two, three o'clock in the morning. And that's probably gonna be the coldest here. So all in all, everything else was great except the very top. All right, so now there's a couple things to really like about this printer. And again, can't speak enough about the bed. Uh, massive, massive bed, great for cosplay, armor, and also for functional parts. We do a lot of printing for our Etsy store. We have um, at least four bamboos running. And one of the things that I'd say is we started trying to print some of those uh, parts, their functional parts, um, on the Max, and it was doing it was doing great. It actually did fantastic. Quality was there, uh, speed was there, and what I liked the most was the fact that this bed plate, the bed is just so so much larger, right? It does lift really easy, and I found that because it's so large, though, it does take a while to warm up. That's the only negative I have about this so far is the time it takes to warm up. Now, a couple things, uh, just so we can see what's going on here on the side. Let's take a look at, we'll push the bed back a little bit so you can see some of the things that are going on. Uh, first of all, you do have a drawer here on the side that you can open up and have your goodies in there. You have uh, the ability to, to tighten, right, tool-free, uh, both access. Do so you have that, which is really nice? You have USB-C and also USB-A uh, uploads. Uh, you did also have this uh, touchpad, Wi-Fi. Uh, and right now you can use the Algo software. It's a skinned version of Cura to do this. But I, I would, again, as I was mentioning, I want to use Orca in order to do that or the Bamboo Lab software, which is just the uh, same thing. And then uh, over here, we'll put this in an angle here. Uh, I'll just turn off the light so you can see the big difference. So right now the lights are off. I'm going to turn on the, headlight, the actual headlight. It's called the headlight. Look how much that lights up. Massive, massive light, right? It has at the very top has tons of lights. So guys, that wraps up our review. See you in the next video.